head shave of the day for today. It's February 11, 2018. I did want to say uh, thank you for joining me for the head shave today. I definitely do appreciate it. I uh, hope you're doing well. I'm not doing too bad myself here. It's a uh, late Sunday afternoon here around 5.30. It's pretty good to get this uh, head shave completed here. It's been pretty, pretty long now. It's been about a week, so I definitely need this head shave. Seems like last week I did most of the head shaves, and this week was all face shaves. So I figured let's get this head shave going. Definitely need it. And it should be interesting uh, shaving the, my head here because i uh, using a, a new razor here that I'm using. Just used it yesterday, but today will be the first time I'm using it on the head. It's the Mercur 37C. See, it's a slant razor there. Just picked this up off of Amazon for $17. Great deal. So keep an eye on it. I, I guess apparently they have been selling for the cheap lately, so we'll see. But there's the uh, 37C. is a two-piece razor here. Just unscrew the bottom. Comes apart like that. <clears throat> and the blade I'll be using here. It's a Super Max Platinum. Second use on it here. So this will be a better test on the blade <clears throat> than my face shave yesterday. I didn't have a day's worth of growth. So we'll see how it goes. There's the razor and the blade. Uh, the brush. I'm going to be using my head shaving brushes. My uh, Yaki shaving brush has this uh, like red or brown swirl handle kind of thing with a 26 millimeter tuxedo style knot here. Uh, it's a decent little head shaving brush. It's a little floppier than I like, but the backbone eh, is kind of there, but it's not, like I said, but, you know, it works good. Good in the head. It's got good coverage. <clears throat> uh, the soap I'll be using today, this one I haven't used in a while. It's the Taconic uh, Lime Shaving Soap. It's like a uh, glycerin puck here. So it's real hard. So I'm going to put some hot water on this while, right now, just while we're kind of talking here, just to get it softened up a little bit, because otherwise it's going to be a little hard to get the, the brush loaded. There we go. I'll just let that sit. <clears throat> this isn't uh, pretty, wasn't bad stuff. I like it, Taconic. I got this for like 10 bucks. So there we go. Now the aftershave will be using uh, Old Spice. I figured I'd just go with this because... The lime, this is kind of citrusy and a little bit, you know, kind of thing. And then the uh, balm, I'm going to be using this after gel. I don't know what they call it. But yeah, I like this. It's uh, kind of citrusy and spicy, so I like that and the Old Spice together. Okay, so that's some of the uh, hardware and the software I'm using, so we can go ahead and uh, get the shave started. So let's go ahead and rock the shave out. <clears throat> okay, so first I'm just going to run this brush under some hot water here, get it wet. Good, and I'll just give it a couple good flicks. And I'm gonna put some hot water in my head here. Ooh, too hot. Just get it wet. Good. Okay, then, uh, I'll bring the brush to this puck here and we'll start loading up the brush. I think I have a little too much water here. Okay. So, so give it a good load here. We'll see how much I can get. Usually around 30 seconds I find is good. But if we need to go more, we'll do that. It's getting everywhere. <laughs> I'd imagine once this puck goes down a bit, it'll be better, but... I haven't been really making a dent in these. I haven't used a ton, but we'll see. So I'm probably over 30 seconds now, but that's probably decent there, I think. I got some lather around. I'm just going to pick up on my hand. Just put it on my head here. There we go. My face is wet. I'll bring this to, uh, to the head and start building up lather here. little water. Yeah, I don't find this uh, brush works that well in that loading up the soap. Just in that container, it's tough to get the bristles in there. Like I said, it doesn't have a, lot of, a ton of backbone, so 
Nope, not gonna wish that. It can be difficult. But, you know, this soap works reasonably well here. Nothing fancy. But a real nice uh, lime scent. I do like that. It's nice. I, you know, I wouldn't call it my preferred scent, but it's it's nice. Something different. A little more hot water there. Just to help keep building this up a bit. The lather's decent though so far. I really wish this had a little more background just to it's it displays out nice but other than that I could I feel like it'd work up the ladder a little better but hey it's fine it's doing a good job for what it is I guess I think I'll stick with that okay so Oops. first pass with the 37C here, first time using it on the head, we'll see how it feels. Yeah, not bad. It's definitely milder. At least on initial impressions. So hopefully that uh, slant head will be efficient and make up for the mildness. Be a little careful. There's a little overhang there, so <clears throat> be careful with my ears. Because it can get me. Yeah, but definitely a bit mild. <clears throat> Can't feel the blade a lot. Which is okay, but I just personally like it a little bit more, just so I can kind of feel, go by feel a little bit more. Okay, so good. Bad half of my head, let's try this uh, next half. Yep, so last night my wife and I went over to a, it was a cage fight. <clears throat> you know, kind of like a mixed martial arts. It was definitely interesting. We didn't stay the whole time, though. It was just like... We got there around 6.30. <clears throat> and we were, weren't even into the main event. It was like 10 o'clock. And we're like, yeah, let's just go home. Because by the time we got home, it was like almost 11. And we're tired. So... And it took a while to get out. Real busy at the place. It was actually like a hotel kind of place, but the Woodlands Inn, but they also had like every Saturday night they had like a big club thing going on and whatnot. Just it was you had to walk a little bit to get to the parking and all that kind of stuff, so but it was fun. It was de decently fun. I think the next one's got to be in March, so I don't know if she wants to go or not again or what. We'll see. On Friday night, we went to a dinner theater, which I liked a lot. I just saw a place called Silver Birches. It's like a resort near where I live. <clears throat> and that was a good time. It was a nice dinner and a play. The play was called... What was it? Uh, Sandy Toes and Salty Kisses by a playwright and his wife. Uh, pretty interesting. It was very funny. Actually, the the guy that wrote it and his wife were there. 
it was the global premiere. So it was the first time anybody ever anywhere has seen it. So that's pretty neat. And uh, he came over to talk on the table during like intermission. And he said it's like a, not an ink, like an American farce. So he's from England. And, uh, oh, second pass here. And he wrote some plays and they said there was two British. So he tried to Americanize it and it, it turned out pretty well. It was, it was really funny. So if uh, that ever happens to come around your neck of the woods, uh, I would definitely recommend checking out. It's definitely a, a humorous uh, a humorous play. I can never do that, but you know, I'm not a good actor. I get fairly nervous uh, you're in a large group like that. But pretty interesting. I know Kevy does uh, plays. That's uh, really good on him. Second pass here against the grain. Yep, and this uh, razor is yeah, pretty good. I guess, like I said, it's uh, not very aggressive in my book. But it feels efficient with that slant. So that, that's very nice. <clears throat> I think mild but efficient is a good uh, way to put it. And this soap's doing good too. It's uh, pretty slick. It's glycerin, you know, so you can't really... Usually those are pretty slick from what I hear. I only have a few and they're all this taconic, but they're all pretty slick. Actually, I have four. Rick the Stick sent me that one. <clears throat> For Christmas, yep, it was a, a fisherman from Humphrey's Handmade. So thanks again, Rick. Definitely appreciate that. Now it's the uh, black liquors because he knows how much I like black liquors. Love it. <clears throat> and that makes pretty nice lather too. So good. Put to this side against the grain. Yeah, and the Super Max Blade's doing a pretty good job here. Definitely have uh, some good stuff, or some good amount of hair to go through there. Like I said, about a week. About a week's worth. I guess we'll see how it goes on the face here. Because <clears throat> I didn't really get to get it, put it through a good face shave. Only, like I said, didn't even have a day's worth of growth yesterday, so... Yeah, I feel pretty close though already. I think I'm across the grain will hopefully wrap this up. So this isn't a bad little head shaver so far. <clears throat> I'll go for pass three here. That is a little bit more water into it here. And this kind of a lot is just perfectly fine for me. I don't find that I have to have like a really thick and luxurious lather in my head there. On my face, I think I, I benefit from it more, but on the head here, not as big of a deal. It's looking pretty good. <clears throat> Third pass, we'll do a across the green pass here. Okay. Hopefully, that'll cover most of it. 
and maybe a pack pick up and then we'll be all set. I do hear a little bit here. <clears throat> yep, definitely a smooth shaver. I like this. Uh, I wonder if anybody has this that has a 34C, if they would find it comparable, maybe just in the uh, aggressiveness chart. Like I said, maybe not. It might be a bit of a difference on the efficiency just with the slant, but I always wondered how that would compare because usually <clears throat> people always say the 34C, it's a big, a big favorite of a lot of people. So careful, like I said, just a very slight. Very slight overhang there. I don't think I got myself, but I felt it hit. You definitely got to be careful. <clears throat> I'm still kind of finding my angle on this. Put a little more on the head here just to feel around, do some pickups if I need them. I might. Maybe just in the back of the head. That's usually where I get them because that's where I have most of my hair, to be honest with you. I don't have so much on the top. Might benefit just from a little more across the against the grain here. Hmm. <clears throat> Put a little more of this on here. I feel like the blade was like, I don't think it was a blade, it was just like, I don't know, I wasn't getting enough slickness or something back there. It was jumping. Okay, let's try this again. I think that'll probably cover it. Close either way. I don't think I quite got it. EBS. But that's fine. No point in just keep chasing it. That's perfectly fine. DFS. That's not BBS. So, okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a quick inspection here in my ears to make sure everything is clean up good.
put it right there. Okay, and then I will go ahead and uh, splash onto this old spice. Oh, yep, yeah, feels good. Not too much feedback here. Pretty good. Pretty close. Like, I feel a little, not much. You wouldn't be able to see it, but I could just feel a little stubbly, but nothing to worry about. <clears throat> While that's drying off, we'll just go through what we used again for the shave. So the razor, the Mercure 37C. That's the slant. Definitely yeah. did a good, good job here. Not bad at all. The blade here is Super Max Platinum. Second use did a good job there, I thought. It wasn't too tuggy or anything like that. Uh, the soap, it's the Taconic Lime Shaving Soap. It's a nice little smell there, pretty slick and everything. That's what it looks like there. Uh, this would probably work. The brush had a little more backbone. It would probably pick up more, a little more soap. I would recommend on that. Uh, the aftershave, Old Spice. So that's that. And then the balm is going to be the after we're going to be using here. So let's just... Uh, little goop there. Just rub that in. Yep, feels great. It smells awesome. I love that after. <clears throat> I wonder if there's a soap or an aftershave that smells like that. Supposedly it's supposed to smell like vintage old spice, but I've heard otherwise also. Okay, so that takes care of the head shave of the day for today so i did want to say uh, thank you for checking out the video definitely do appreciate it uh please like and comment below you know if you can't leave a comment definitely give me a thumbs up either one is appreciated uh please also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you have thank you definitely appreciate that uh, you can either do that below or i'll uh, leave a link that you can click on right here and i would also recommend uh checking out some of my uh previous videos i've done i'll leave a suggested video for you to click on right here so again uh, thank you for checking out the video hope you have a great night hope you have some great shaves